we bought a Peterbilt. A 1998 P379. Now this truck has had a little bit of a rough history and uh, it needs a little bit of work done to it. It's been rolled over onto its driver's side. The whole driver's side's messed up on it, but that is nothing that we can't fix. I'm so excited. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. All right, let's go. Roll the intro. That's it. It's not bad at all, actually. It's on a block. I wonder why it's on a block. And we got to figure out how to get it home. We got to figure out a lot of things, namely if it runs, if it'll drive, if we can drive it, and then we'll get it home. Tell this truck rolled over on its side, so the hood's gonna try to blow up on it. Make sure it's in neutral. I think it might be in gear. <laughs> Battery's still charged. Hold up. Let me get some go go juice. Uh, excuse me. It's a lot like a lot of my girlfriends. If you get it looking at it from the right side, it looks like a stud. Ready? All your girlfriend looks like studs? <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant. Got the key on? Alright, crank it over. <laughs> Airbags are going to air up. It's airing up. Oh, it's airing up? Yeah. What an idle back down. Yep, there it goes. Cool. We got air suspension. Awesome. That was a half the thing I was worried about, but the, since the suspension's going up, we're good there. You'll look over all the suspension, make sure there's nothing here that's going to keep us from driving it. And uh, we need to fix this stack up here, and I think we need to hook the drive line back up, and we'll try to get it on out of here. Sound like a plan? All right, let's do it. Yeah, this is it. Whew. All right, let's get my pocket knife to this side. So we did per some professional Weston body work and got this fender where it looks almost like new. I'm not joking. Now let me tell you a little bit about our wonderful Peterbilt. This is a 1998. Peterbilt 379. It's got an N14 engine, probably makes like 400, 415 horsepower, and a beautiful, besides for that gear that I just grinded, 15 speed transmission. And this thing realistically drives really good. Now, there's a lot of things we gotta watch out for because, you know, this truck was rolled over. This truck hasn't been driven in a long time. So, we really don't know if it's gonna make it all the way back to the house. We've got a 45 mile trek back to the house. And this truck's been sitting for close to eight months. It's been wrecked. So it's going to be a little fun, but I think it'll make it. It's got a Cummins in it, so it'll be good. I can see out the back of the door of the truck. That is an optional feature is what that is. It's supposed to be that way. It's been a long time since I drove an old Eden. But you know what? With an Eden, all the clutch is for is for starting and stopping. After that, you don't need it. You know what? It is so awesome driving this truck. I ain't joking you. When I was a kid, my dad hauled cattle all over the place. The first thing I remember driving was a Freightliner FLD60, him teaching me how to back a trailer. And I've always wanted one of these Peterbilt 379s because they are the Cadillac. And I mean the Cadillac of the semi-world. There is 
nothing nicer than a Peterbilt 379. Everyone knows that, except for one thing, and that's a Peterbilt 389, because that's all that replaced the 379. People are trying to call me, Beyonce, I'm talking about my Peterbilt, I don't got time for you. Now, with that being said, these things got such a good ride, and they've got that beautiful big square hood out there. They have not changed the way a 379 and a 389 look in years. And you know why that is? because they look magnificent. There's no reason to change something that is already perfect. So, I am literally so excited about this truck. My dad drove trucks like this hauling cattle when I was a kid. This truck is a 1998, which means it came into the factory the same year I was born. It was just fate that we were supposed to find each other. But you know what? This truck's just a lot like me. Every once in a while, I gotta lay over and take me a nap too. So it ain't no problem. We'll fix her up just like she'll be like brand new. Actually, you know what? She might be better than brand new. <laughs> oh, I love this thing so much. 30 pounds of boost. That, that there is a lot of bald eagles. So you might be wondering, why are we taking all these dirt roads? And the reason for that is, you know, like I said, this truck's been sitting a long time and also the condition that it's in. If it's got any issues, it's a lot easier if you break down on a gravel road because you got a little bit of time to mess with it, you got a little bit of room. And I'm always one, I don't like to break down on the interstate. And it's we're not that far away from home, we're only like 30 miles and I know the back road's good enough to get there, so it ain't really no issue. So, realistically, we're only about uh, 20 miles away from home now but I think we'll make it pretty good. Now I will say though, I'm leaving Clifford in the dust and I mean in the literal dust. I This old Peterbilt is just blowing dust everywhere. But that's just from all of these donkeys trying to unleash all their horsepower. I would, you know what, we need to figure out exactly how much horsepower this N14 has. Because uh, I know it's got a lot, but I want to know a number. I want to know a big number. I want to, I just, I'll tell people, it's got 1,200 donkey power. That's a big dip in the road. <laughs> now, the other thing I will say is this interior is very nice. This is an American class Peterbilt, which if you don't know nothing about Peterbilts, that is as nice as thing you could get for a Peterbilt. Uh, it's like the platinum Ford trucks of their day. And these things are incredibly nice. Wood grain everywhere, beautiful. It's got the back window and the sleeper, uh, heater and the sl sleeper, all kinds of fancy, fancy stuff. It's even got a light up here for when you lose your girlfriend or your cows. It needs a little bit of a cleaning because as anyone that's been close to truck drivers or has been in a truck knows, truckers pretty much live in these trucks. and. They get really dirty very quickly. So we need to get it cleaned out because there's trash in it. There's ketchup in the back seat and all kinds of stuff. So we need to definitely get it cleaned out. And uh, also there's some gla broken glass on this floor. I don't know where that's from, but there's some down there. I don't know if I can squeeze my fat rear out of this side, but we're gonna try. We're gonna have roasted Weston if that stack's hot. Good thing I got my Walls vest on because I don't even. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. It's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. Hey. That really puts a fire under my ass. <laughs> i never seen a movie. Well, guys, I think we'll call that a wrap for today. As you can tell, it's getting dark on us, so we'll get started on this big, beautiful Peterbilt tomorrow. But if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more Peterbilt action and uh, us kind of fixing some things on it, make sure you subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys next time.